Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a tricky issue that many developers encounter when working with Firebase. Our viewer has a question about why their data change listener is being triggered multiple times. Let's dive into the details of their setup and see how we can help. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. The issue you're experiencing with multiple on data change calls is likely due to how Firebase listeners work. Each time you add a listener, it can trigger multiple events if the data changes. To address this, you can ensure that you only add the group listener once. This can be done by checking if the listener is already added before attaching it again. Here's how you can modify your code. First, create a Boolean flag to track if the listener is already set. Then, only add the listener if it hasn't been added yet. Additionally, consider removing the listener when it's no longer needed. This can help prevent memory leaks and unnecessary data updates. By implementing these changes, you should see a reduction in the number of on-data change calls, leading to a more efficient and manageable code structure. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. To address the issue of multiple calls in Firebase's add value event listener, first check if you have set persistence enabled. You can do this by using the command to set persistence to true. Then test your application without this setting. If you're persisting data locally and using add listener for single value event, it may lead to multiple calls for fresh data. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. To avoid multiple calls in Firebase's add value event listener, it's crucial to manage your listeners properly. Always remove existing listeners before adding a new one, even within the same activity or fragment. Declare your listener and query variables at the beginning, then call your function to fetch data from Firebase, ensuring to remove any previous listeners first. In your function, set up the query and add the value event listener. Remember to clear your list and handle data changes appropriately. Additionally, consider implementing reattach listeners for managing your listeners during activity lifecycle events like on pause and on resume. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. This user encountered an issue with Firestore Recycler Adapter in Android, where the on data changed method was triggered twice after each data change. They wanted to display a message when no data was found. To 
To solve this, they used live data backed by an Rx subject. By implementing a buffer and map function, they coalesced the two emitted values into one, ensuring only the latest value was used. The code example shows how they set up the live data to skip the first value, buffer the next two, and emit only the last one. This effectively handles the duplicate calls from on data changed. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Firebase's on data change can trigger multiple times for two main reasons. First, if offline persistence is enabled, it may call twice, once with the stale value and again with the updated one. Second, if you haven't removed the listener properly, it can create new instances each time the activity opens. To fix the second scenario, maintain local references for your Firebase reference and listener and remove the listener in the onDestroy method. For the first scenario, you have two options. Disable offline persistence or use a delay to wait for the latest value before updating your views. And that's it guys. I hope that's found the answer that you're looking for and you got through to that solution. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time, you have a technical issue, I'll see ya. Have a good one.